All right, on these new three ports, um, this is the incoming water. So this is your city water coming in. Okay, that's your city pressure. This is not your RO pressure, it's your city pressure. This is a low pressure sensor. So if the, if the city water gets turned off for some reason, uh, then and there's no water coming to the machine, this will turn the machine off from making water, okay? This is our incoming solenoid valve, all right? And then, so your water comes through, this opens up, of course, when the tank float drops. Um, and so your water line comes all the way through here, and these are your pre-filters, okay? So these are the filters that you're gonna change each month. Sediment, carbon, and then it goes um, through to your processing pump here, and then from your processing pump, it goes to the top of your RO, all right? And then through your RO, and you have your blue is your good water, and your black is your drain water, and it those lines come to here. Okay, and so you can see, we can measure the volume of good water and the ratio against the bad water. And we always want the bad water to be higher than the good water. That keeps the, uh, that keeps the RO membrane healthy. So we never want the good water to be higher than the bad water. We always want it like this. So right now, it's just over one gallon a minute going into the tank and it's about a one and a half gallon uh, per minute going down the drain, carrying the waste down the drain. That's a good ratio, okay? This pressure here is your pressure for your RO. This is what we wanna check every, uh, every month and record the RO pressure. Um, and right now it's really low, it's at 50. We're keeping it there so that we can manage a good ratio. Do not bring this up to 100 and sacrifice your ratios. Uh, we want to leave it here because the because the summertime, the water's warm, um, and that's why we have to run it this way. So uh, managing managing this and keeping these ratios right is more important than running your pressure at 100 PSI, okay? This valve right here is a little test valve. You can get your TDS reading uh, of your RO right here. So you can take your TDS here or at this valve this is a little bit easier to control, okay? So once it goes through here, your good water loops around, goes through your meter, this is where you're gonna take your meter reading, uh, and record that every month in your app, okay? And that's what goes into the tank, all right? Your float switch is, uh, you have uh, two float switches, one's mounted in the tank, one's mounted in the lid, okay? So when this slides up, it, and it catches at the top, it pushes the stick up and the stick connects here and you can see it stops making water. So it pushes the stick up and the stick connects as a magnet here. Whenever this starts to drop down and it catches the bottom clamp and it pulls it down, it'll kick back on. Uh, this yellow, these yellow wires are a small safety float switch uh, if uh, this uh, tank float fails. And yeah, it's controlling your RO system up there at the top. So you can see that those lights are lighting up in accordance to this float switch, okay? And again, uh, if the float switch is ever failing, typically it's because these clamps got loose and they need tight back and they're sliding up and down the stick, not allowing the float to catch the stick and move the stick. Then, as the tank is filling up, you have a completely different uh, uh, dispensing system. So this is your uh, dispensing pump. This one pump is going to dispense to all three stops. Okay, so you can, if we follow it up, it goes up to this one post filter. So this one post filter. Uh, we'll probably only change it about once a year or once every six months, just depends. But once it goes through here, this is where the lines split for all three spouts. And these lines go into your UV. And this big silver box is your UV, and that's your indicator so you know the UV bulb is on. Okay? Um, and so they come out here, 
and then run from the UV to your spouts and your spouts uh, are controlled by they each have their own solenoid valve and that solenoid valve opens and um, allows uh, when the pressure releases because the valve opens the simmer pump will kick on and start uh, pumping water to that so when they finish servicing they got to change the beat yep and this this new this is your new control box when you take this off you can see there's a little button in there and when you press that button you're going to be able to see a menu change so when i press that button here now it says set service year i can uh click that button here and i can set the service year i press the button on the inside of the black box again uh twice and it takes me to set service month and so i press the button and i can move that number up and down let's see Okay, and then I click the button inside the black box again and again to go to set service day. And you can see it's set on the 30th. I'm gonna lower it down to the 30th. So if you pause, you can see like you press the button, it goes down. If you pause and press the button, it's supposed to go back up. So you, it's a little fickle and, and so you wanna play with this, but this same button goes up or down. Um, but pausing it should cause you to change directions. And then you press the bu blue button inside the black box on your control board until it brings it back to your uh, the main display screen. And then from here, these are just on and off. Opening the door on your uh, new three port, you can see that these latches are a hex key latch. And right up on top of your machine is, a, is where we're keeping the spare key. And so if you just slide this back. And then you'll want to turn this all the way to the left. Like that here and it'll open up and whenever you close it you want to push it in and you all the way to the right and once you feel it click it'll draw up there. and it's nice and snug all right just real quick on these safety float switches the one on the left uh, when it goes up, it controls the screen on the front of the door, sold which uh, shows the sold out or uh, that there's an overflow issue. Um, the uh, the uh, um, so the one on the right, it controls if there's a flood and, and it goes up, it's going to turn your RO sensor. Uh, off, I'm sorry, your RO controller off so that it stops making water and it shuts that valve off, that green valve shuts off and that pump shuts off, okay? And, uh, but whenever the float drops, then you can see everything is fine with green uh, lights. And just a quick overview of this, when the tank is full, the top will be in green. If the top is flashing red, that means it needs reset, okay? So that could happen. Sometimes this might need reset manually. If the top is flashing red, it needs reset, okay? If the very bottom light is lit, the low pressure, that means there's not uh, water coming from the store to the machine. That's this sensor over here. Where's the problem with our incoming water, okay? And you should be able to look at that pressure gauge to see what the problem is, all right? Um, but everything on this control system here is before the tank. This control system here is a vending after the tank. This control system here is before the tank, making water. 